Did you know that the samosa was once only a dish fit for kings or it was actually a well traveling immigrant? Yes, you heard that right. What we now relish as a humble street snack was once only a snack fit for royals. Hi, I'm Christelle de Souza and this is episode 1 of Tales of Taste by the Better India. Join me as we travel back in time to the 10th century to the very origins of the samosa. Persian texts dating back to that era speak of the sanbo sag which were triangular snacks enjoyed by traveling merchants around campfires. In India the samosa was brought in when Middle Eastern chefs came here during the Delhi Sultanate reign and Moroccan traveler Ibn Battuta also spoke of how the samosa was served at glittering Tughlaq banquets following the sharbat. Scholar Abul Fazl spoke of how it was relished by Mughal emperors and even the Britishers couldn't stay away from the snack and soon spread its love across their colonial empires. As you can guess, the love for the samosa settled in the hearts of people everywhere. So it comes as no surprise that there are so many variants that have evolved over the years. From the spicy singhara samosas that are served in Bengal, Odisha, Bihar and Jharkhand to Hyderabad's meatful lukme to Allahabad's ghee ke samose dal ki pitti wale the taste of the samosa is the story of India itself a melting pot of cuisines and cultures in Karnataka onion samosas are a hit whereas in Punjab potatoes and peas are the major filling in Delhi the substitute for the filling is often keema kova and even moong dal and in Gujarat samosa patti with cabbage as the filling is very popular So the question is which samosa are you going to choose with your perfect cup of chai do let us know in the comments